Sols doesn't just sell jewelry, they also clean it for you. What happens when you want to spruce it up from home? And this bling it on, a few ways to get the job done effectively and safely. General Manager John Denine is back to bling it on. Good to see you, Guys, John. good morning. Thank I'm you. about this segment. A little bit different twist today, right? It really is because we have seen some horror that has yeah, happened well. <laughs> when people have brought jewelry into us that they go, I don't know what I just did. There's some and, do's and don'ts. And that's the biggest thing. We want to make sure that you want to, there's some things you definitely want to shy away from. Mm -hmm. And there's other home remedies. If, of course, you can't get into us and have us professionally clean it for you with our great people, there's some things you can kind of get done if you're in a quick hurry. So we kind of wanted to showcase that and also just a few things to kind of maybe shy away from mm -hmm. when you're kind of storing your jewelry, different things like that Let's as well. Let's start with the don't. Yes, this is you don't the worst way to clean your worst jewelry. Worst way to clean your jewelry is right here, bleach. Mm. Stay away from bleach completely. A lot of people think, oh, it makes everything nice and white. Mm -hmm. It's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> bleach will sit there and it will eat away. We're not talking about necessarily your diamond, but all the soldering that might have happened in your setting oh. or any type of uh, uh, your prongs, no, no. it will eat it away. It affects the structure. And of the that's piece. the problem, is because you're loosening up all of that. Uh, you know, kind of solder that's in there holding those stones together. Mm -hmm. Just like if you're in pools, hot tubs, that chlorine will sit there and eat away mm -hmm. at your jewelry. So don't wear so, those pieces in. Correct. Do not wear your jewelry into the pools. Wow. Uh, different things like that because people don't realize, you know, a lot of people run in and go jump mm -hmm. in. That will sit there and slowly eat away it's at your effect. settings. Wow. So stay away from that stuff okay. definitely I'm at taking home. this bleach off the bad. table because yes. I don't want anybody bleach to get is confused. Bad. Bleach is bad. Uh, what bleach you also want to say, pure ammonia. Uh, you know, a lot of times we say sometimes a little bit of ammonia mm -hmm. with a lot of water, a lot of soap is not bad. Pure ammonia, stay mm -hmm. away from that as well. Does the exact same thing as bleach will. It will eat away at your setting. This so, is vinegar. Yes, that is vinegar. Vinegar and a lot of this stuff we're going to be talking about is really taking it back to chemistry class of all the different types of ionization exchange that you're going to be looking mm -hmm. at with your jewelry. Vinegar, baking soda, those types of things right there are great for sterling silver products. Um, even ketchup that's right behind there as well. Hold the phone. Yes. Ketchup to clean jewelry? Ketchup to clean jewelry. Why it's, does that work? What you're looking at is you're looking at the acids that are in there. So you sit there and you layer your jewelry with it, and it, that acid that's in that ketchup will actually help that tarnish huh. go away from there. It's a little tough to clean up. Yeah. That's why some people do shy away from you it. You wouldn't use this on a strand of pearls, for example, would Correct. you? Correct. And that's the next thing I want to make sure everybody understands. What we're talking about here is a lot of the metals, cleaning those, also cleaning the diamonds. Gemstones you really want to take your time with because the number one thing you don't want to do is take that luster off of those stones. Opals, pearls, these types of remedies always either call us, we'll tell you what you can use, or even look online because you don't want to take that off of those items. And you can't go and back. And you cannot go back Reverse once you it. take it off. So be careful with gemstones. Diamonds, gold, yellow gold, white gold, platinum, you're okay with gemstones. Be careful. Okay. Plop, plop, fizz, fizz. Yes. <laughs> right here. Out that the is the easiest thing. A bowl of hot water, one tablet of those, put your jewelry in there. What's happening is that it's that carbonization. Just like with Alka Seltzer tabs, you can use beer, you can use club soda. It's all of that carbonation that really is getting that gunk the and bubbles. grime. Yes, it's the bubbles that are getting that dirt. Soap, um, anything, lotions that are underneath there, you take a toothbrush, scrub underneath there. It's amazing how it will take all that grit and grime underneath that stone away. That's cool. It, it really is because it's a simple little thing. If you're in a hurry, you're doing your hair, you're just getting out of the shower, mm -hmm. put Touch some of up. that hot water, boom, set it in there, you're good to go. Why did you bring aluminum foil? Aluminum foil is one of those things once we talk about is just the ionization uh, portion of this, is when you can take that, you can mix that with your baking soda, get kind of a paste. You put your sterling flatware in there. It will actually take that tarnish away. Mm -hmm. You can actually also use aluminum foil with, let's say, kids chalk, if you have some kids chalk. Throw it in a little basket, <laughs> throw your sterling silver in there, cover it up, it will take all of that tarnish off of there. Is he blowing your mind too? Just yes. simple little things. It, it's really nice. How long has this Reynolds wrap box been sitting <laughs> in the kitchen for? It, it, it's been for a while, actually. Look at this thing. We, we grabbed it, it and it, it's been actually, it got wet, so we just kind of brought okay, it in. This is a new bottle. This is Windex. This is Windex. And what's great about this, 
Another simple little thing. Take your jewelry off, squirt mm -hmm. it a couple times, wipe it on down with just a nice damp cloth, towel, anything like that. It will make it shine, make your stone shine just incredible. I've got a wedding band that's yes. dulled. Which is perfectly fine. Take a, you can actually take that Windex right now, spray it down, wipe it off. You'll I'll get try. that nice little layer. What people don't realize a lot of times with hairspray. Can I take it off my hand, please? <laughs> you can just soak it, just clean it up, <laughs> and just like shine. Like new, guys. It like new. Look at that thing. Shines up like crazy. But people don't realize it's the just layer your of skin off my When you go to the hand. bathroom, the soap you use, the hairspray you use, any type of product you use, that just gets all over those rings mm -hmm. and it really dulls it down. Uh, do you, we want to show my piece first or go to the Chris's? What do you want to do? My piece. And then we'll cut <laughs> the question in next week. That sounds great. Okay. 14 carat right here. We actually showcased this last week. A little over a carat and a quarter yeah. worth of a darker champagne and white diamonds. Just a gorgeous piece that sits flat. I actually didn't get out of the studio last week until I had a phone call on this. Oh. It is already sold. It's so sold. I do Great. apologize for that. But Whoa. that's what we're trying to do with showcasing these items. This week, Guys. just one of the best pieces I think we have in our in store. In the store, period. I just love this. Designers started coming out with this where they use sapphires, rubies, yeah. and all different styles in that halo setting. This is a platinum mount with a carat 70 stone set in the middle uh, with a little over a half carat worth of diamonds and a half carat of sapphires around that center stone. Wow. What's great about this ring is you can definitely use it for a wedding ring if you yes. like, but you can also use it for a right-handed ring. ring. If you don't, you know, if you're not going to get married or you already have the wedding ring you love, but you just want uh, something that really stands oh off. Oh my gosh. That's and what's great about this, the price on it, John. little over 27000 retail. Yeah. If you go into retail stores with Saul's, you're looking at $11,000. Wow. Come talk Absolute to you. Piece. Come find you. Come right? see us. Next Definitely. Week, Mary's going to wear that this week. Yes. Uh, and then the piece she had wow. this week it will be at 120. It like will be at 120, but it's already oh, sold. Oh, you sold it. Yes. Yeah, so. so. Good job, buddy. Thanks, you guys, John. thank you very much. Great Once advice. again. Well, hey. Good info today. If you have any questions, let us know. I was cleaning we'll Windex off my elbow.